Today we travel to Lookout Mountain in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Join us on this not-so-Disney adventure as we discover Ruby Falls. Uh, is, it, is it foggy here? But how about, do you guys think it's foggy in the cave? You don't know, let's check. Oh, this is Ruby Falls, a lot cooler than Aladdin's cave. Gotta learn to say Happy New Year. Give me your hands. Look, the elevator is glass. You can see a beautiful view of Lookout Mountain. Whoa. Oh. Welcome to Ruby Falls. <laughs> the miracle of nature you're about to explore was yeah. discovered by a stroke of luck. Yeah, we're here. When one man yeah. followed a big oh. dream. Oh. Your adventure oh. begins oh. as we descend 260 oh. feet into an underground cavern deep inside Lookout Mountain. 260 feet. For your safety, as you exit the elevator, please stay with your group. So you know how Watch your step and head and use the, the handrail for the bike. Oh, this is deep, guys. We're in the oh, that was amazing. All right, guys, your guide is this Brian. Is you should be right outside these doors. Okay. Thank you. All right, hello, everyone. Hi. Y'all go ahead and follow me right this way. Thank you. As we head into the cave, guys, be sure to watch your heads, watch your steps, and keep with me as we go. Wow. Come on, guys, walk faster. Oh, my God. I told you there was lights down here. How did they use the lights? Oh, I guess it was a light. Come on. Is it exciting? Folks, please remember that Ruby Falls is an active cave, meaning that as we move through the cave, there will be wet spots throughout. And as we round the corner over to your right, you will be able to see where Mr. Lambert and his team first crawled through. As you can see, they were not very thick men. Maybe thick headed, but that's about there. So as you can see, they were either A, extremely adventurous, or B, completely and totally insane. <laughs> For our sakes, we really hope it was A. Anyways, moving forward, guys, we're going to see our first formation up here. All right, folks, here we are. This is the cactus and the candle. The cactus is the large back part. Candle is the small front part. As we go by, please remember, do not touch, but take as many pictures as you like. Funny looking donkey. There's the donkey. Donkey's butt. Donkey butt. There were so many structures to see that we could not film them all, but please enjoy what we did film and make sure you visit Ruby Falls to discover the structures for yourself. <laughs> Steak and potatoes. Mm, it's sounds, like a prime rib. That was yummy. Niagara Falls. Okay, look down. Okay, 
Okay, now we have to play Alexa K. This was the original passage which the explorers entered Ruby Falls yeah. called Leo's Passage. They must have been very thin to get through those little passageways. Yeah. Oh, you hit your head. He told you. Are you okay? He did. That's what I said, but he doesn't listen. Are you okay? Yeah. Look down there. Look, there's water down there. Once again, folks, as we make our way through the Just whole thing, be sure to check out that beautiful ceiling. Ooh. Look up, Tiger. Lookout Lane, and on the other side, Blood Rock. These together are the thinnest and shortest passages of Ruby Falls. So, as we move through Lookout Lane and under Blood Rock, everyone be sure to think thin and short thoughts. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Kids are good. Yes, it's gonna be tighter. Why do you think my dad doesn't like it down here? Go, go. I'm right here. Oh boy. Cheese and crackers. Look at your head. Oh boy. So the the lights aren't just for pretty. To your left, you will be able to see the western sunset. And of course, if you cannot see it for any lack of imagination, instead you can see a very pretty red light on some rocks. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Huh, Sandra? Are you excited? Yeah. Are you ready? What are we looking for? A waterfall. A waterfall. Yeah. In a cave. Tyler, you having fun? Is the waterfall big or the big cave? It's big. It's a big, big, big waterfall. I'll be able to show that off whenever I tell you guys all the information about the cave room after the light show once we get in there. Talking over the waterfall is indeed a talent, if I do say so myself. It gets loud in there. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to be in here for about 10 minutes. Should be plenty enough time for y'all to get the pictures that you like. Well, I will have the light show going for you while you guys are in here, so I hope you all enjoy the wonderful marvel that is Ruby Falls. Yeah. Let's go see it, guys. Woohoo! We made it! Are you excited? You he Do you hear it? Do you hear it? The two largest caverns form like a figure eight. Oh my and then at the very far end of the cavern, wow. you will see the famous Ruby Falls. Isn't that amazing, baby? It's absolutely amazing. Lambert, the gentleman who discovered Ruby Falls and a cave enthusiast at Lookout Mountain, was the one who discovered its beauty. On his second trip to the cave, Lambert took several people, including his wife, Ruby. While gazing at the waterfall, Lambert told his wife that he would name it in her honor. Thus, Ruby Falls received its name.
going. Come on. Go, 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 go. Good job. Sandra, you? No? Okay, for later? Keep it for later? Following the tour of Ruby Falls, guests can enjoy the changing seasons with a trip to the top of Lookout Mountain Tower known as the castle. It is located on the top of the entrance building. Open to the public in 1976, the tower offers panoramic views of Chattanooga, the Tennessee Valley, and surrounding mountains. The castle is made of stones that were excavated from the original mine of Ruby Falls. The most spectacular views of Chattanooga are at Ruby Falls, except on our visit where it was surrounded by fog. What are you doing, Mom? Why is car? I'm driving. Driving my arm. If you liked our adventure to Ruby Falls in Chattanooga, Tennessee, make sure you hit that like button. If you like our content, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can follow us on our next adventure.